that supercharger and that I like that. All right, this is a fun car to ride in. All right, that's how I got hooked on cars, riding with my friend who had a supercharged LS Swap 79 Malibu thing was hitting. It gives you that feeling like that. You see that? If you've never ridden a supercharged V8 car, when you ride in one with somebody who's hitting the throttle, it gets next level. It gets you amped up. You're like, man, how do I get one? How do I, how do I get one, man? This one, when you hit that gas, that thing go. Like, I mean, go, go. Like, it go, go, go. Like, it, it, man, it goes balls to wild. Like, like it says, red eye right there, your eyes turn red. All right, just stepped out of the 1320 and about to hop into the new Hellcat Red Eye. Hellcat Red Eye. Now we're gonna do a full review, test drive of this joint and everything. Also, if you haven't seen the video of the Scat Pack 1320, a lot of people may wanna prefer that vehicle opposed to a Hellcat. You know, this one got 807 horsepower, but in the future, after I do this review, I'm gonna do a comparison review, all right? So y'all stay tuned. All right, let's hop inside here. First off, you hear that engine already. Come up in here. Oh, that's nice. Nice seats up in here. Nice accessories. What is this? Like uh, some kind of like brushed aluminum looking type stuff right here. It's nice in here. It's got it all the way through here. It looks like uh like somebody got like a sander, like like a little sander, like made little circles on a little piece of metal and they put gloss on it all the way around. Now, <laughs> check that. This is dope right here. <laughs> First off, you look at the gauge, it's got red all around it, you know nice little leather right here and you look at the seats it's got a nice trim going all the way around you know some of that white trim white trim leather all up in here white black leather and then you look close you see srt red eye you see that red eye right there the cat with the red eye that's detail right there i like that i like the whole red eye. i like the details up in here uh it'd be cool if the seats had a little red eye on there but you know i'm just complaining for no reason but other than that this vehicle is uh is dope now in case a lot of y'all don't know you can actually go right here and you push SRT mode if you want to and bring you straight there. Now, first off, you look at the button. It says, wake the beast. <laughs> Isn't that cool? That's funny. Wake the beast. The, reg the regular SRT and 39, 1392s and all that other stuff, they don't got nothing that says, wake the beast. That's dope right there. And uh, look at this. When you come in here, you can see your sport mode, custom, um, auto, track mode. And you see right there how much horsepower you got 797 horsepower that's basically like uh 800 horsepower you might as well say it's 800 horsepower and when you push your different modes right here and say track you see electronic stability control changes to track and i push it again for sport push it again custom custom allows you to you can change the sport the transmission paddle shifters push that again so i can see everything steering traction suspension that's dope right there i really like that a lot actually that's real cool you can look at the performance pages it takes a couple seconds to load but when you go in there it's cool because it shows all the dynamics of the vehicle you know so when you rev in the engine it shows your oil pressure changing etc etc you got srt mode you got your apps controls you just sitting here and hit the gas a little bit And when you rev up, the whole damn car shakes like it. It's crazy. Engine performance right here. Dyno. I like to leave it right there. And this sound is ridiculous. Let's go. Like I said, I already said I got in sport mode. And just so you know, this is a Hellcat. A Dodge Challenger Hellcat. Red Eye. So we have 800 horsepower, right? 800 horsepower and it's got some nice wide tires on it right to be able to put that traction down let me turn this ac down a little bit i know it's, it's blazing outside so i'm gonna turn the ac down just a little bit just so y'all can hear me but i look listen to this, this engine it sounds good it's got the you hear that that supercharger is that i like that it's got good power and one thing my one of my favorite things is the sound of this thing like it Let's open the window a little bit. Let y'all hear it for real. Yo. Woo! That's supercharger for sure. Is that, yeah. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is definitely, this is one of them ones for sure. This is one of them ones. I haven't said this. I, power doesn't always mean one of them ones. But in the case for the Dodge Challenger, because it's such a hard, heavy vehicle, it's so, it's not really nimble and light. You need like 800 horsepower like this to feel that, like to make me, to make me say this is one of them ones. It's got to have a Hellcat engine in it, at least for the Challenger. The last time I said it was one of them ones was for the, it was a Infinity GV70. It was a tuned, a tuned Infinity GV70. Well, it's a twin turbo V6 and that thing was ripping. Another one was the BMW M3 Competition. That one rips. The Ram TRX, it's big as heck, but it's one of them ones because it gives you that feeling like that. You see that? that like oh man I need to be quiet because this thing even with the wider tires I feel like it can still get away from you but you know just driving as long as you don't hit the gas right away you can definitely feel like it's got more like that exhilaration kind of feeling you know a big shout out to Earnhardt Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram that's who this car is courtesy of Earnhardt Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram out here in Gilbert, Arizona. One of the dopest dealerships I've worked with. You know, they got some of the dopest cars that's out there in the market. There's a reason why people are like trying to rob people with Hellcats. Because the Hellcat is one of the coolest cars on the streets today. Now, if you like Hellcats and all that kind of stuff, I suggest you subscribe to my channel if you're not. Because when that new electric charger comes out, as well as all the other 4xe versions and all the other new Dodge Chargers and Challengers and the cool Jeeps that's going to be hitting the streets, I'm going to be right there, first in line, getting access to them videos, all right? So stay tuned. To be completely honest, this vehicle is dope for sure. Now you see this back seat, it looks nice back there. Now if anybody was wondering how big the back seat is inside of a Hellcat, if you haven't seen my other Challenger videos, I'm going to show you right now, right now. So just so you can see, just for the people who don't know how big it is in the back seat of one of these, I'm going to show you. All right, so I'm gonna leave the seat where it is. I'm six feet tall. Now you see this little thing right here. If this is y'all don't, for who don't know, that thing goes out of the way. You ain't gotta climb underneath the thing. You ain't gotta climb under the belt, but it's kind of a, a little bit of a squeeze, you know. But it is doable, you know, especially <laughs> for the Hellcat. If you're gonna ride with somebody in the Hellcat, you better squeeze up in the back seat because this is a nice car. This is a fun car to ride in all right that's how i got hooked on cars riding with my friend who had a supercharged ls swap 79 malibu thing was hitting like i'm telling next level when you ride whenever you, when it, whenever if you've never ridden a supercharged va car when you ride in one with somebody who's hitting the throttle it gets next level it gets you amped up you're like man how do i get one how do i how do i get one man <laughs> but when you put when you get back here look all right, you see my knees sticking out right here. I mean, it's not too bad, but I got—I still got plenty of space back here. You know, if I if I had to sit back here, you know, like even if it was like a little bit of a lengthy trip, you know, I mean, I think you could pull it off, especially if you're someone who's shorter. You know, everybody's not six feet tall, everybody's not six foot two, and everybody's not five foot seven. But if you are below six feet or six feet, you know, there's plenty of space for you back there. Now, the only thing I would say, if you're a little bit taller. I hope you're taller on the top end, like, I mean, like, waist up and not waist down. Now, another thing I'm sure a lot of people are real curious about is what's underneath that hood. Now, of course, you already know it's a Hemi, all right? Right? You know, you know, it's, you know what it is. It's the Hemi Hellcat Motor 6.2 liter supercharged engine. Now, let me show y'all. So pop that open right there. Woo! Look at that supercharger right there. Big, nice supercharger. It's big. And the air intake on this joint is big too. Look, see, it's a supercharged Hemi. But instead of a 392, it's like a 376 or something like that. 6.2 liter, see? 6.2 or 6.2 liter is the displacement. And the 376 or whatever is the cubic inches of the engine, all right? Let's see the big old intake. The big old air intake right here. The open air intake is how you're able to hear that all the air coming up. Woo! And plus the supercharger, the wine, of, that's what that is right there beautiful engine if i was gonna do an engine swap get one of these hellcats for sure because i've done the camaro ss zl1 and that one has a supercharged 6.2 liter supercharged engine much much similar to this one this is a supercharged 6.2 liter v8 engine but that one even when in, in the track over to a track mode it doesn't drive like this this one actually fully lets the horsepower out this one has of course over 700 horsepower and that one has like 
650, I think, like something like that. But I'm pretty sure you could. They could. They could have tuned it a little bit to be like the same amount of power as this one. But either way it goes, that one has 600 some horsepower and 600 some foot pounds. So it don't feel like it don't feel that great. Like it almost feels like a glorified Scat Pack. You know, like the way the power of the Scat Pack feels. Compose of this. This one. When you hit that gas, that thing go. Like I mean, go go. Like it go go go. Like it, it, man, it goes balls to wild. Like like it says, red eye right there. Your eyes turn red. You gonna be like, oh man, you gonna be blister shocked. You gonna be going crazy in your mind. Now look at this one. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna show you. Now look at these wheels right here. They come on some P P zero, right? Now for the width, these are two seventy five forties. Now you can get like you know three oh fives or something on there. You got four piston SRT Brembo brakes in the back, and then when you come to the front, you got six piston Brembo brakes. Six piston SRT Brembo brakes. A nice red caliper. It's nice. You got all the little uh, amenities on this joint. It's nice. You know, especially with the little air intake right there in the front. And I bet a lot of people didn't even notice. When you look inside here, you can see the Hellcat right there. You see that? Not this, not just the ring, but look in there. You, there's a little Hellcat right there. You see that right there? That's dope right there. It's crazy. I never noticed that till just now. SRT wheels, the red eye emblem right there. This is a nice car. And one thing I really like about these is how the gas tank is around the outside. Keeping in mind the old school kind of style going on, you know? Hellcat emblem again right there. You hear that exhaust? sounding good the, of course the trunk is big enough to fit some people up in there or i mean i mean some luggage fit some luggage up in there not not people what, would, what do you think i said all right let's get back inside because it's toasty up in here man I mean, but it's toasty out there all right now for real 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 honest it's one of the ones for sure all right so if you're someone who wants a vehicle with 800 horsepower make sure you go and get yourself one because i'm telling you they're not gonna be making no more of these Hemi powered uh, challengers and chargers with the Hemis going away. It's gonna be getting replaced where you're gonna either have an option for electric or you're gonna have an option for a, a hurricane motor. Those are the only things they're gonna be making. A Hemi is going away unless you're gonna be having like a truck, unless you're gonna be getting like a Durango or a Ram pickup or something. Hemi are going away. So if you like these, either, your only option is gonna be pre-owned pretty soon. So if you want a new one, I suggest you go get one. And if you come down here to Gilbert, Arizona, Earnhardt Chrysler you drive Ram, mention me, you get hooked up. All right, so I've already said who this vehicle is for. Anybody who's looking for a Dodge Challenger, not but not like the regular 392, not the Scat Pack, you want the maximum version without going to like a Demon, I'm telling you, a Hellcat jailbreak is gonna be like one of the best ones you could get. I'm telling you. For obvious reasons, obvious reason you hear that that's all american monster va you know american muscle you know american muscle right there <laughs> that's what people love people love that whole v8 right there uh, i know i know that they're gonna come out with you know a v6 tuned version that's probably gonna be able to make even more power they're gonna have electric ones you know instant torque and more power than this one but you know it's nothing like Nothing like an American V8, especially for if you're American, you grew up around Americans. It's like it's like it's the pastime, you know. We're some inefficient people, you know. We like we like fast food, loud, fast cars. We don't care about fuel efficiency or saving gas. We don't want no all-wheel drive. We want something that's dangerous that's gonna do some burnouts and damn near kill us. All right, that's that's how that's the that's the American way, right? <laughs> I'm joking. All right, it's Slage Mia, and make sure you check out my next video because I'm going to be doing a comparison of the 1320 Sky Pack versus the Hellcat Red Eye. All right, catch you guys in the next one. Peace.